The shooting happened during an official Madden Championship tournament. Deputies say dozens of people were inside the landing in downtown Jacksonville this afternoon. When they heard those gunshots, the building is a riverfront mall and event venue on the St. John's River in Jacksonville. It's about two hours from Orlando, and we sent News 6's Jerry Askin there right after that shooting. So, Jerry, what's going on there now? Eric, yes, a very tragic story even happening right now. You can see it's a pretty active scene here outside the uh, Jacksonville landing here as authorities are right now working to find out how and why this all happened as we are finding out more about the lone gunman who authorities say is 24-year-old David Katz. It's really unfortunate. It all happened so fast. Excuse me, not an easy out. Gunshots flying at a game room today at Chicago's Pizza at the Jacksonville Landing Shopping Center. Authorities saying it all happened during an online Madden gaming tournament. It was pop, 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 like it didn't stop. Tonight, as the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office continue working to find a motive, we're learning more about the suspect who authorities say is 24-year-old David Katz from Baltimore. We know that the suspect used at least one handgun to commit this act, uh, and we are working again with our partners at ATF on that aspect of the investigation. Authorities say he opened fire, hitting 11 people, then took his own life. Two victims died. Here is video of Katz posted by our Jacksonville station, WJXT, when Katz competed years back in a similar online gaming tournament. Pray for Jacksonville as we deal with this senseless tragedy. Jacksonville authorities say Katz was in Jacksonville this weekend for the gaming competition. The sheriff saying it's unknown if he knew any of the victims or why he open fire. We also know authorities say the ATF was at a Baltimore home today, possibly the gunmen's searching for clues. It's really unfortunate. I, I do have prayers out for all the people that are injured or families that are affected by this. Yeah, the Jacksonville Sheriff saying all of the surviving victims are in stable condition. I spoke with one father tonight who said his son was shot. He was shot three times. He said he's hoping his son recovers, but he's going to have to have surgery tomorrow. So he's like many parents today uh, praying for a speedy recovery after a tragic situation here in Jacksonville. We're live in Jacksonville. I'm Jerry Askin, News 6.